All right, guys, so the question reads, a 35-year-old man presents to the emergency room after a stab wound had penetrated the left side of his spinal cord. Which of the following would not most likely be seen on exam? And then you start seeing the answer choices where it's loss of pain and temperature on the contralateral side of the body, and immediately you're thinking, oh my gosh, here it comes. Uh, this is most likely that brown uh, sequard uh, syndrome, okay? And basically, it's just it's just a neurological condition that happens to the spinal cord after some, uh, typically it's some type of injury. And and we'll explain that in two seconds as far as the mechanism. And once you get the mechanism down, you can pretty much answer any question that they give you. But the causes for this, okay, the causes, the most common cause, and this is maybe most likely what you'll see on the step exams, is going to be some type of trauma. Now, that could be, you know, of course, like a stab, could be a gunshot. But anyway, something happens to the basically one side of the, of the spinal cord. Uh, you know, you could also theoretically have like a spinal cord uh, tumor. Uh, there could be some type of ischemia, uh, you know, kind of just there's some blocked blood vessels, um, and also multiple uh, sclerosis uh, can be a cause of this. But typically the one that you, we tend to see on questions and stuff is going to be the, uh, uh, the, the, the trauma, okay? But here's basically uh, the mechanism behind it. And so if you're, you know, say this is the hand, um, and it goes here, and then it go, makes its way to the spinal cord. Okay, I'm just going to kind of make it like this, the spinal cord, and then you have, it makes its way to the brain, but to be, um, to make it look better, we're going to say this is the, there, there's the medulla, there's the pons, um, uh, I'm sorry, midbrain, the uh, pons, and the medulla, okay, kind of a, a, a stair step, kind of going up kind of in the brainstem. And then, uh, for the most part, I'm gonna say, and this is kind of a side view, but, not, but now we're kind of looking if we were in the middle. This is gonna be the thalamus, okay? And these are all your players that you need to know. So we have the medulla, pons, midbrain, and thalamus. So there's only, uh, I'm gonna say there's only really three things, three things that you kind of have to make sense of. We could say uh, fine touch, okay, proprioceptive, proprioception or proprioceptive touch. We have pain. Okay. These are all sensory, right? Those are all these are all sensory. And then you'll have a motor component. And that's basically it. And then really all they're going to test you on is, well, on the same side as the injury, what does it look like? And then on the opposite side, what does it look like? So let's just start with the the uh, the fine touch the fine touch proprioception, okay? So if someone you know tickles your arm, tickles your hand, something like that. You know it 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 goes back. You know into the spinal cord on the same side, all right? On the same side, uh, goes here, goes up the same side to the medulla, and then crosses over, okay? Then it crosses over, goes to the thalamus goes there and then goes to the part of the brain that says, okay, what do you want to do with that information? Okay, so when it comes to fine touch, it starts here, goes to the same side of the spinal, same side, uh, spinal cord, goes up to the medulla, crosses over, and then, uh, oops, I'm sorry, and, and I should have a, a, a little guy right there. Okay, first order, second order, all that kind of neuron stuff. Uh, but it goes over, crosses at the medulla, okay? So that's fine, fine touch proprioception. When it comes to pain, okay, something like ouch that hurt, this guy is going to go across, okay, and then you know you hear all this. It kind of goes up two levels where it, it really kind of goes over. Um, it but it crosses over the spinal cord, okay, and goes all the way up straight up straight up straight up and goes to the thalamus. Um, and then goes to the to the brain and say, hey, what do you want to do with this information? But remember, the thalamus is the sensory relay station. Okay, everybody's got to go through there so you can kind of say, okay, guys, which direction do you go? So I can so I can make sense of this stuff and and do what do what's needed. All right. So you understand so far, we did fine touch proprioception, came to the same side of the spinal cord. You know, let's, and when I say same side, that basically is what I'm saying is uh, well, let's just say that this is what normal is, and then we'll do an injury to the spinal cord. And then the last component's the motor component, right? The brain says, okay, now that I got this information, what am I supposed to do? Let me send you a signal back 
over here. So he runs down. Now, of course, he doesn't like to stop, right? So he's going to come down. He's just going to follow, essentially follow this guy back, same pathway. Crosses over at the medulla, uh, heads on down, gets on down here, and uh, will make his way back uh, to where to where the injury injury was or whatever it was, you know, whatever the, the pain symptom that caused it. But you see there's only three things that we're dealing with here. We got a uh, going this direction, you know, going up, we have the, the fine touch proprioception. Pain went ahead and crossed over and still went up. And then we got the motor coming back down on the same side. So now with that being said, that's what normal is. If we had an injury on this side, okay, if we had an injury on this side, remember it's only half the spinal cord that gets penetrated on this, whether it's to a stab wound or something like that. It's only this side. So on the same side, we got to think, well, if it happened, let's just say it happened right, you know, right there where all that stuff kind of happened. Remember, we got the anterior horn of some stuff. So we would have at that level, who got affected? At, the, at that level, we have a lower motor neuron lesion. Okay, so we'll have those type of symptoms. Below that level, if, again, this is like, because motor went down, right? This is the motor track we're talking about right now. Well, he's, a, he's affected. Right at that level, it was a lower motor neural lesion because yeah, uh, it affected, it, you know, it affected right at that anterior horn. But below that, below that level, you know, we are going to have an upper motor neural lesion, right? Because the thing's been cut. It's been, it's been snapped. But again, at that level, it's going to be a lower motor neural lesion. Below it, it's going to be an upper motor neural lesion on that side, all right? And that's kind of the hardest part, you really, to, to pull away from this. But on the same side, what are we going to have? Are we going to have uh, are we going to have a pain issue on this side, um, or are we going to have a fine touch? No, it's going to be a decrease in fine touch, right? Because what was the pathway going back up? It, it, normally, it goes back up on the same side. So if that side's affected, then this will be affected. What about pain on that side? Well, pain when he when we go that he went over to the other side. So again, they, if the issue was up here, not the same level. If the if it was right, you know, the guy got injured his hand, the injury's right here. The pain, you'll still feel pain in that extremity. And it would cause it would go because it crosses over. You wouldn't feel the fine touch in that extremity, but you'd feel the pain. So pain on the same side is normal. But on the opposite side, I mean think about this. The guy's got a hand over here, right? Is in if, if someone pinches him, well in theory it's not in theory, it actually happens. This guy's pain crossed over and then goes back up, but it's chopped off, right? It got injured. So on the opposite side, you're going to have decreased uh, pain. It's pain in temperature. Okay. This is all you need to know for this brown Sicard. And again, if we took it faster, okay, let's just take it faster. And, you know, this is how you're going to do it. You, I just want you to kind of teach it to yourself, okay? And really, you can break it down to medulla, thalamus, brain. For pain and temperature, uh, I'm sorry, let's go with fine touch. Fine touch, boom, here, same side. Goes up, crosses over, okay? I should say that. Goes to the thalamus, boom, okay? That's fine touch. For pain on that extremity, pain goes all the way out. This is normal. This is what it normally does. It goes up over thalamus brain. Motor back from the uh, you know outside goes down through here, crosses over, follows follows the fine touch thing, goes over. So that's normal. If I have an injury on this side, what's going to happen? Well, at that level, at that level, I'll have a lower motor neural lesion. Below it, below it, I'll have an upper motor neural lesion. On the same side, I'll have decreased with my my fine touch. My pain will be fine on this side, but on the opposite side, I'll have an issue with my pain and pain and temperature. Okay, keep playing that over in your head. You, you'll get this right. So back to this question. It says, so this guy's got Brown Sicard syndrome. Is it a loss of pain and temperature on the contralateral side of body? Okay, so so this is what we're saying. He's got an injury on this side. Is he going to have loss of pain and temperature on the opposite side? Yes. Okay. So that one's good. Is it same side loss of proprioception or vibratory sense below the level of lesion? Okay. So again, below level lesion. This is my fine, my fine touch thing. 
Yep, it's gonna be on the same side. So I like that one. Is it C, contralateral spastic weakness due to interruption of the descending cortical, uh, cortical spinal tract? Okay, so let me think about that. Cortical spinal tract was the going back, because so remember it goes, it starts with cortical brain to spinal cord, so I know it's a descending tract. Now, it's gonna be the contralateral spastic weakness. And so, that, remember, spastic weakness, you know, that's gonna be an upper motor neuron lesion. All that stuff's gonna happen on the same side, not the contralateral side. The only problem with my contralateral side is gonna be pain and temperature. The spastic weakness and all that stuff is gonna be on the same side. So right now, I'm liking that one. But let's go ahead and read D. Is it lower motor neuron signs at the level of the lesion due to damage of the roots and the anterior horn cell at this level? Yeah, we knew that one, right? Because right at that damaged level, you're gonna have a lower motor neuron lesion because you mess with the anterior horn. So I like this one. So the correct answer is gonna be C, contralateral spastic weakness due to interruption of the descending cortical spinal tracts. It should have been, same side would have made it true, okay? But guys, do this one. You see this question all the time, and, and usually when I used to see this, I'd be oh my God, here comes another one. Um, and I just used to blow it off thinking, oh, it's only one question. But guys, if you can get one question right on USMLE that you know you're gonna get 100% right, understand this concept, because they wanna know that you understand, have the ability to, to break this down but know this concept. It's only three things, okay? It's really only three things you gotta know. Make sure you can teach it to somebody. Hope it's helpful, guys.